Dallas ISD has more than 10,000 teachers affecting thousands of students every day. Teaching a diverse group of students takes creativity, a positive attitude, and a love of knowledge. Over at Trinidad, Trini Garza Early College High School, one great teacher is not only educating her students, but also providing a real-world hands-on experience through aquaponics. I've always liked to create an environment where the kids feel comfortable learning science. Kids are very reluctant to stay an answer because they're so used to someone telling them there is a wrong answer. But when you get into biology, you can investigate anything. You know, there's, there's always a great area that you can say, well, it might be this way or it might be that way. So you can show where you have common ancestry, right? Saiski, she really tries, she tries hard to like, set up visuals to get us to understand. We have, we have study guides that she makes herself with like diagrams of everything that we need to know. We have study guides that help us actually with the AP test that we take in 10th grade. Through two Junior League of Dallas grants, Ms. Tyeski has two sustainable aquaponic chambers in her classroom. Students in the bio club learn to maintain and cultivate fish as the system recycles its waste to fertilize the plants. The aquaponic chambers, located in the basement of Mountain View Community College, is where students observe the differences between two watering techniques. The first is based on a sub-pump technique from Australia where the water rises up to the plants every two hours and 15 minutes and then drains. The second chamber is based on a free flow technique from Africa where water is free flowing and drips out. The aquaponic chambers have a variety of vegetation that is growing without any soil. Not only are the students tending the vegetables, but they also get to enjoy them. Describing the process of one and how the structure relates to the function. Ms. Tyeski uh, has all of the rigor of a college class, although it's an, a high school class. And uh, she uses visuals, kinesthetics, and, and, uh, and also the auditory to get the uh, content across. This is something that they've, they've seen at school that works and they can take it home and they can, they can do it on their own. It's, it's something that gives them a sense of, okay, what is sustainability? How can I, you know, be a part of that? Creating an interactive environment where students are engaged in their education is how Ms. Tyeski is a great teacher in Dallas ISD. To find out more about Dallas Independent School District, visit the district's website.